Hello and welcome. Welcome to Courage to Change and You Are Love. Just a big reminder for you, in case you don't hear it enough or maybe feel it, I'm here to tell you you're loved. This is our daily reading from One Day at a Time in Al-Anon. And yes, we are helping serve those family members and friends that may have a struggle, a real struggle, because somebody you love, somebody you care about, is struggling with either alcoholism and potentially another form of addiction. There are many different types of addictions out there, and I do believe these readings are able to help a family member or a friend know that your struggle is real and to have the courage to change on maybe how you feel. Frustrated. You're struggling. It's real. I get it. This comes on the heels of the loss of another family member due to addiction and this is my son. And my something is part of my healing process for myself and hopefully to help somebody else out there heal also. I hope you're on your healing journey. Thank you for being here. This is our reading for December 6th. Before Al-Anon, I have sworn I didn't have an angry bone in my body. Through working the steps, however, I discovered that without knowing it, I'd often been furious about the alcoholics in my life. I began to recognize anger while it was happening. At first, it felt great to reclaim this, suspend, this suppressed part of myself. I felt more whole, more powerful. But as time went on, I began to abuse my newfound sense of power. I blamed all my problems on the alcoholics, pushed everyone away, and felt worse than ever. Al-Anon has helped me bring the focus back to myself. If I am unhappy with my situation, I can look at my part in it. I am powerless over alcoholism. Sometimes I feel angry about the fact, about that fact. But anger will not change it. Today, I can get angry, express the feelings in the heaviest, in the healthiest way I can find, and then let them go. Today's reminder, anger can give me an illusion of power. For a little while, I may feel I have control over my situation and over other people, but the kind of false security always lets me down. The only real power available to me is that which is mentioned in the 11th step, the power to carry out God's will. And our quote, no one can control the insidious effect of alcohol or its power to destroy the graces and decency of life. But we do have a power derived from God, and that is the power to change our own lives. Courage to change. Kind of feel that anger, right? Really mad. Maybe mad at yourself, mad at the other person, just... It is an emotion that we feel, and it's real. I also want to say thank you for helping me get through those little stumblings of the reading. Sometimes I trip myself up. And thank you for the grace and ease to allow me to do that. Let's not focus on the stumbles. Let's focus on the true message that's in the book. For December 6th, is really about harnessing 
and rechanneling the anger. Why are you so angry? What is upsetting you? I've been there and it's been difficult. And now, because of the readings, because of this healing journey, I'm able to understand that there is something bigger out there. And anger doesn't solve everything. It, and it typically doesn't solve what's happening. It also gives us a sense of false hope, right? We think we could scare somebody out of what they're doing. It really is all about love. The love that we have for ourselves. That's where it starts. We must start loving ourselves first. So when you're feeling angry next time, put a pause on it. Take a breath. Maybe count to ten. Maybe take another breath and count to ten. It certainly helps me. It's not a place where I prefer to be is in an angry state. And just know you are loved. You are loved. This is a difficult one for me because it is the angry piece. It's just the pure frustration coming out of an emotion. And I'm sure you felt it. Maybe you're feeling it now. What helps me? Taking a breath. And then realizing, what can I change? What do I have control of? That I have control of myself. And I can change the way I feel. Because I prefer not to be angry. You also have that choice. This is our reading for December 6th, and this is also your reminder that you are loved.